Hey guys, so this is part 5 of me playing Soma, and not too much to say, so let's just go ahead and get into it. I'm going to try to keep this one under an hour, unlike I did last time. I'm sorry about that. I'm trying to do these in, like, parts, and, like, once I get an achievement, I know I completed one part, and that last one was just a bit longer than I expected, because I also messed up, so... safe in these vents, so I'm not too worried while I'm in here. I never did figure out what causes them to be aggroed, so I'm assuming I just can't get too close to them and don't have the flashlight on. talking. That's rarely a good sign. Damn it. The Dunbat was our best shot. I was really banking on this to work. Come on, we can't quit now. There's gotta be another way. How do you think you did it? How did the team get the Ark down the Abyss in the first place? If they didn't use the Dunbat, the only other way would be the Climber in Omicron. It's like an elevator which supposedly reaches all the way down into the Abyss. Okay, so we do that. We go to Omicron and take the elevator. Yeah. Okay. Sure. We'll just head over to Omicron and hope there's a power suit that fits you. You know, so you don't implode while in the abyss. <laughs> that does sound useful. Alright, let's go then. Wait, what is this place? Seems to be a lot of information on the Ark here. There's a prototype and everything. Okay. Let's start it up. I want to see how it works. Maybe we can figure out how to get on the Ark. You didn't know how to get us on? How difficult could it be? Get an arc simulation going. Get an arc simulation going. Well, let's see what we can do. My decision. I've decided to finalize the arc with the scans we have. I'm sorry for all of you who have wanted to go but didn't get a chance to scan yourself before the project was put on hold. It's been two months since I added a scan and I don't see how I'll ever be able to win back the support you all showed when we started the project. I'm sorry. I never meant for anyone to take their lives. It was never my intention to fool anyone. I just wanted to save something. Dr. Catherine Chung. What's left? Apply interface module, seal arc capsule, ask permission from 4Q, brief invest brief some people, take shuttle to Omicron, pick up power suits, ride the climber into the abyss of the Diddy climber, regroup at Tau, head to launch site, load the bullet launch arc. Arc locator. Arc attitude survey. To gauge staff opinion, please fill out this short survey. Another one? Recently it was decided that the arc project would become Pathos 2's latest or last official commitment. The staff has been urged to carry on with their duties despite Earth's catastrophic condition. I think the ARC project is the most logical step towards saving mankind and that we should spend as much time and resources as needed to complete it. Uh, no? I think the ARC is kind of weird. To embark, every passenger needs to be flushed with an electromagnetism using a pilot seat. These scanning sessions are known to cause nausea and headaches, sometimes lasting up to three days. I think temporary physical discomfort, no matter how severe, is a small price to save mankind. Three. I mean, it's just headache. But, like, the last statement is a little weird. Like, it, it depends on what the physical discomfort is. Uh, it sounds rather, um, subjective. 
The arc is built to fit a Ranger Mark 7 probe, meaning it could be shot into space with the Omega space gun and technically survive for thousands of years, living off the light from our sun and distant stars. I think the arc should leave Earth behind and be launched into space. Yeah, sure. The digitization of humanity is an opportunity to make a quantum leap in our own evolution. The people inside the arc will out of necessity be generated from existing genetic code, but could be altered to allow for cosmetic changes, ease, ease aging, and even prevent death. I think we're at risk of losing our humanity if we were to rid ourselves of disease and our mortality. Whew, that's tough. What defines humanity? There are only 58 people left alive to be stored inside the Ark. A way to diversify and expand the population would be to introduce artificial intelligences that would in every way appear to be human but with childlike and naive sensibilities. As we continue to explore the nature of intelligence, we may find a way to make them smarter in the future. I think even an inferior group of artificial people would benefit our society. Inferior... Inferior is weird. I don't like referring to another group, even if it's just AI is inferior. This is how your colleagues voted. So most chose strongly agree. I was amongst the strongly agrees. Hmm. Interesting survey. Not sure what purpose it serves, but you know, just being immersive. And Matsu power suits proper usage for the safety of you and your colleagues. Put on the neoprene undersuit and body harness. Check the HPS for any visual damage. Starting with the legs, fix the parts into your harness and work yourself upwards. Lug all the pieces together as you go. Let a partner help you with the back piece and the torso. Tap the secure button on your arm piece. You should hear the suit seal itself. The suit will then start to equalize pressure and tap into the oxygen tank. If the suit doesn't seal itself, flex the shock absorbers and try again. If it still doesn't work, do not try to fix it yourself. Contact maintenance. Note the HPSs are very heavy and the suit will compensate. You will effectively be stronger than you think you are. Be careful. Regular training applies. Don't hold your breath. Don't stay out for too long. Don't dive too deep. Don't dive with malfunctioning equipment. Wow, that's so cool. It's the whole gang. A crew photo? Really? Who are you saving this for? The world was dead. Thanks, Simon. <laughs> I thought being an asshole wasn't invented until the 22nd century. Now I know better. It's like my guy goes from being super positive to not positive sometimes. That's Phi, all right. Quick stop at Omicron, then Tau, then Phi. Let's do it. So, all right. Power packs. That'll probably come in handy. I'll, I'll, the arc doesn't even look that this. bulky. This is going to be easy. You haven't heard of the concept of jinxing, have you? Sorry, I forgot your people were superstitious. Your people? It's only like a hundred year difference though, right? Is a hundred years enough to cure any superstition? I don't think so. What's this thing? That's just a compact camera. Coster uses it to investigate structural integrity and payload frameworks. Of course. Could you get inside it? If I knew what you were made of, it would be a hell of a lot easier to figure out how to get you on the Ark. Give it a try. Bit of a quick. tight fit. Can you reach the on switch? Yeah. Should I be worried about oh, radiation? I think we're beyond that. I have a skeleton, right? You seem to be one with the diving suit you're wearing. Everything's meshed together. How's that gonna work with the suit we're picking up at Omicron? Um, I think they're bigger. You should be able to wear them both. Imogen? Who's that? It looks like the basis for your body is one of my old colleagues. A standard cortex chip for robots, including the data reader and the occupant, which is just one force through the skull. What? Structure gel has fused the whole construction together. Amazing stuff. No, 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 hold on, back up. I'm one of your old colleagues? Well, your body is. Imogen Reed. That's disgusting. <laughs> hey, don't say that. She was my... She was nice to me. Bro. Anyway, the Cortex chip is good news. That means we can transfer your mind to the Ark with a pilot. So I am half yeah. biological? I'm half a dead person. Yes, it makes sense. Think about it. Mm -hmm. All those simplistic minds we've run into? Just reviving a dead person doesn't seem to work that well. A robot body seems to make people a bit unreliable. 
You are the best of both worlds. A sound mind and a sound body. I'm the next step of humanity. At least we know how to get on the line. Sort of. I understand the concept, but I don't know the specifics. I really wish we could figure out how the scan data is formulated and processed. Is that something? Yeah. No device connected. So we're gonna be doing some shenanigans. I guess it's time to leave. Doesn't look like I can go this way. So we're going this way. But we need our tool. So I gotta go talk to her again. Get an arc simulation going. What? Oh lord. How? Gosh. They're not very obvious because it's not. I'm used to things being super lit up, like in Resident Evil or something. Well, they have the big glowing orange pustules, so you know to shoot that. Please reduce memory footprint. So I guess we don't definitely don't need the red ones. Let's get rid of all the biggest red ones. Now we can do an itty bitty red one. We don't need heat. So that will that do? Was that enough? Type Soma. Does it need to be the number exactly? Am I missing like one of these that I needed? dummy scan shouldn't be that difficult I just want to make sure I understand how the scan data is formulated before we start messing around with the real arc run the simulation and then hit pause while the code is running it'll give me a cross-section of the process all right let's try Nanami better not use real data I don't want to repeat what we did to Brandon second that all right so then dummy The illusion of choice, huh? So apparently, I did look up how to solve that. I don't know if I'll edit that out later or not, but I, I think it had to add up to a certain number. Or you had to like go through each one and then it said like, this one is corrupt or blah blah blah. I'm not sure. But I honestly probably would have spent like another 10, 20 minutes before I found it out. So it's better to just get it done. Although I guess I could have kept trying and then edited. I don't remember that the next time. So do I just keep that going and then go talk to her? Load a dummy and pause the simulation while it's active. Then we can run diagnostics and see how it operates. We need to pause while the dummy is loaded, otherwise I can't know if it's working or not. Was it not loaded? I don't know when it's loaded. Oh, okay, I see. Yes, of course. So precise, so perfect. Nothing like Thank admiring you. your own work. What? Oh, right. <laughs> 
Are we done here? Can we go to Omicron and get my new suit now? Yeah, we should get going. Want to bring this arc as a backup? No, that wouldn't work. This is just a prototype. Good. I prefer Damn. the travel light. So I guess Let's you just know how to load Don't us into the arc. That's you. all it was. I feel like she can't be trusted. In a weird way. I don't know. Something, something kind of suspicious about her. And why the Dunbat? It, would it just freak out because it was a new thing just loaded in? Kind of like that other guy. We'll, we'll see. Like, I have an inventory, but I, there's nothing I've really been able to do with it. So I'm not sure what the purpose of it is. It's not like I could select an item or recycle through items. This has bad news bears written all over it. Stormer! Grant, where are you? It got out of hand. I'm in sector RD4. Did you get everyone downstairs? Yeah, we're safe for now. But you need to get moving. They're gonna figure out where we are and come for us. Don't worry about it. The stairs are blocked and I killed the elevator. Pull the connector chip from the lock. Why? That means you're stuck as well. Only way to keep you guys safe. Take the shuttle, go to Omicron. God damn it, Juan. You just had to be the hero, you bastard. Good luck, sir. Tell Alice I love her. Insert connector chip. Looks like a part is missing. Is that blood always there? Two health packs right next to each other, which is a little concerning. Is it not heavy enough? Probably not. This might have some weight to it. Am I actually safe right now or not? Alright, this definitely has to work. Come on. But you. Okay, that that sounds hefty. It's got some meat to it. Ha! Am I just maybe I'm throwing it wrong? Do I need my two.
Get in there! Go, go! Please! Where did he come from? The one that we loaded into the system. <laughs> That's gnarly. Jesus. You won't get me, motherfucker! You hear me? How well can they see me is a question. Now oh, it's cutting back, so let's just wait. God. And can you see me better now that it's more lit? Now I bet he pets further. Now what? I need to format the chip? sure the Ark makes it. Every launch is a crapshoot, you know that. I just wish these numbers looked better. What do you care? It's just a pack of data, right? Yeah, just a pack of data. There's no way he's coming in, right? There's no way. I told you he'd pet this way. They somehow hover where you are. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
No. I have, no, I have nowhere to hide behind in here. I have nowhere to hide behind in here if he opens the door. I think that's the cover art. It's gnarly. Wait, there's two doors? What do you do there? They can definitely see you. So he's obviously about to come in here. Because this fucker follows you. Oh, 
Lakers. Crazy one. <laughs> um, box into a corner. And I think he walked to where I'm trying to go. Terry Akers, age 66. One of the mo worst cases I've seen and it's most likely his own damn fault. He blinded himself and clogged up his insides of structure jail. I'd be surprised if he ever woke up from the coma. Didn't make me think of Hart's absurd story about what happened at Lambda. Could it really be that the Wild was somehow cap able to change and rebuild the H? Vanessa Hart. Hart appears to be in good shape considering the circumstances. Only bru bruises and mild hypothermia caused by the long walk. It's difficult to corroborate her story as she is the only one to return. Chun. As usual, Chun is quiet and does her best to avoid eye contact. She doesn't want to be here, but Strohmeyer demands another evaluation. Chun isn't obstinate or dishonest, but she'd rather not speak if it could be avoided. She has a hard time dealing with people in general, including doctors. Catherine Chun is weak in character, the perfect weak can be domineered and pushed around by others. She's a scared mouse I don't want to upset, so we sit quiet and pass the time. Huh? It's not the personality I get from her at all. Guy Conrad. Conrad is dead. He boiled his brain to a pulp with a W rim maser following the arc nearest game. Clearly another continuity enthusiast killing stuff to take place in the arc. So I'm finding lots of lore. How did these guys do I have nowhere to hide if he actually comes in here. I'm dead if he opens that door. I'm dead if he opens the door. They wouldn't put a kill box room like this, would they? This <laughs> is not an ideal hunting spot. I think I need to go back through the room. Now, are there more than one monsters? I don't know. I'm going back to the health pack right now. So that I can just see. So it seems like this turns off power and stuff every time I get one. So it's like getting a health pack makes it harder. So the more you get hit, the harder the game gets. But I just can't deal with the. Um... This is really unfortunate. I'm almost expecting to like come over my shoulder. 
I don't know if actually looking at them like makes a difference. Oh. Gonna have to go a little further away than that. Bound to progress. Like, it feels like he disappears quickly. It's almost like he just despawns. Stromer, you there? I hear you, Brandon. What do you got? Akers and his critters are ferocious. Hmm. They pick up on it. Oh, I, I gotta stay there? Oh, that's Stromer, kind of a bummer. You there? I hear you, Brandon. What do you got? Akers and his critters are ferocious. They pick up on every move. There's no way past them. Then we'll fight them. We got critters. to get to the shuttle and end up like shanking atoms. No way. Many critters. I'll create a distraction and pull them to me. Get the gang to the shuttle station. Wait, Brandon, what are you doing? Please don't come out there. I'm listening to stuff. Just load up the shuttle and be ready to go. Are you sure about this? I don't plan to die today, sir. See you at the shuttle. Could I lock him in a room? I probably could. Alert, machine hanger. Huge structure gel leak has caused the wild to seize control over the Dunbat. Force quarantine to avoid further development. The last thing we need is another talking machine. I wonder if I can get him locked somewhere. Checklist. Survive the Ark Project. Stop people from killing themselves. Solve off sea and the team. Keep people safe. Enjoy the rest of Armageddon. Falling into rooms is the question. Where is he patrolling when he leaves me?
Boxed in again. So I guess I could go the long path. I think there's more than one. Because I came from a totally different direction. Not alone, at least proxy. At least three proxy creatures. Check and seal doors. Move downstairs. Shutters to almost put on. The lights always off. Something not hooked up right. Oh. There's a I think there were more than one in there. That was rough. I don't look it, I don't think, but my core is tight. Wait, is, it looked like I could still grab onto something. Is that actually possible? Well, I am a robot. I am a robot. I guess I didn't have to return to that room. Oh god. I need health. What's the appropriate way to go?
someone breathing. How are these people still alive? Like, how long has this facility been in this shape, and how long ago did they all get uploaded to the Ark? I don't know the time frame of things. It says nightmare written all over it this hallway. Am I dead? Hello? Do. Runa, you don't want me? Yes, of course. But what happened? We fell in love. Like this way. Oh, I got put in the gun. Stranger Things style. Gosh. I didn't realize they moved that fast. Holy cow, that scared the piss out of me. Told me I completed this section. <laughs> Jeez, my legs are in pain. They're so tense. I'm so f I'm afraid I'm afraid to turn the flashlight on. Oh god, I have to. This is a dead end. Crap. <gasps> I 
please don't come in here. Please don't come in here. Keep walking. That's right. Keep walking. Keep walking. Turning the lights on is suicide. Like I shouldn't do it. In there, please. this I'm speed running. I want out of this place. God, I want out of this place. Freaking dumb bat.
why are you coming down this hallway? My heart is just going berserk right now. Holy cow. And I've got to pee. <laughs> what? Jumping! There's a use for jumping after all! Let's go! No, I don't know if I'm... Oh. Did I take all the damage? Yep. Because the section. <laughs> Man, I don't want to deal with these monsters. The monsters have gotten progressively more horrific as the game has gone on. I will say that. Let's heal first. And then I'll do some or make a power god or something. heal because I'm about to be put in danger. Self died to heart failure or brain damage, and then uh, his brain self is just reanimated and has to deal with all this crap. What happened? What did she do? Come on, we gotta get her out of there. Who 
Holy shit, Hart blew up the O2 surplus. She sealed the tunnel. She really didn't want anchors following us to Omicron. Ah, oh, shit, she's fucking hurt. Her suit is leaking. We have to get her to Omicron. Shit, it's, it's bad, me. real bad. Oh, fuck, no! Well, <laughs> we got an achievement, which means we've gotten to a new part. And I, uh, I'm going to go, I'm going to, I'm going to call it there. I am stressed the fuck out. That section was not. <laughs> uh, that was rough. But I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Um, there's probably going to be a few weird cuts throughout it because I cheated on a puzzle and then uh, I got some food real quick. But if you enjoyed it, then please leave a like and uh, look out for the next episode. I'm trying to do these once a day, so hopefully I'll be done with this game in the next couple days. Anyways, I hope you guys have a good day or night, wherever you are, and I'll see you next time. Bye.